So, it's 1977, and you're a kid, and you're not mature or smart enough to know that Disney's Pete's Dragon is not a very good film. But because it was a part of your childhood, you cherish it. Well, fine. The film, a blend of live action and animation, was definitely a bit of a dud. It's set in the early 1900s in eastern Maine, where an orphan arrives, and the orphan has a not-so-imaginary friend named Elliot, and Elliot is a green dragon. The film also features Helen Reddy, Mickey Rooney, Red Buttons, one critic calls it maudlin tripe, and I'm afraid he's right. This new Pete's Dragon is also not very good. The setting is changed for some reason to 1982 and the Pacific Northwest, and the movie begins with that favorite gambit, a sudden car crash that eliminates a couple of family members. Little five-year-old Pete is left stranded in the woods where he is set upon by wolves and saved by a big Grinch-furred green dragon he names Elliot. The film also features Bryce Dallas Howard as a forest ranger who, quote, knows the woods like the back of her hand, unquote, but has not discovered an 11-year-old wild child who lives in a cave beneath an ancient oak tree with a dragon. A dragon that can make itself invisible at will. For some reason, Robert Redford appears in this film as an old coot named Meacham who claims to have seen the dragon in the forest in his youth, although no one believes him. While not a musical, this Pete's dragon is full of maudlin indie pop songs, one after another. It got so annoying, I just wanted to turn the music off. A new Pete's Dragon. Why did they bother?